What's up guys, this is Massey. Welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for BECL2. Beryllium colorite. So what we need to do, we need to find out which one is the surrounding atom and which one is the central atom. Beryllium and valence electrons are two. So I'm gonna have it like that, one and two. And chlorine has seven electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So since the bonding capacity of beryllium, capacity of beryllium is two, and the bonding capacity of chlorine is one. So it means that beryllium is the central element. I'm gonna write it like that. And then I need to find out the total number of valence electrons Beryllium is 2 and we have 2 atoms of chlorine 2 times 7 It's going to be 2 plus 14, it's going to be 16 And what we need to do First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place one pair of electrons between each adjacent pair of atoms. So it means that every two of these dots represents a bonding electron pair that forms a single covalent bond. One, two, one, two. So we have two single covalent bond between uh, two electrons like that, two atoms like that. Then we need to place pairs of the remaining valence electrons as lone pairs on the surrounding atoms, not on the central atom, on the surrounding atoms. And then we need to follow the duet rule for hydrogen atoms and the octet rule for all other atoms. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then next step would be to determine how many electrons are still available by subtracting the number of electrons you have used so far from the total number of electrons of valence electrons. So we have, we had two, 16, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times two, 16, 16 minus 16, zero. So it means that there is no more electrons available. Then we need to check the octet rule for chlorine 2468. So it has an octet, 2468 in here as well. So it has an octet. But if you see for beryllium, you have two and four. So this one is under octet. So there is an exception for under uh, for these two elements, beryllium and boron. These two elements they perform under field or under field octet so we leave it as is we just have an exception exception like that so beryllium has single bond with chlorine and chlorine and then we need to place the lone pairs around it so that's going to be the loose structure of beryllium Right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding loose structure and other topics in chemistry, physics, and math. Thank you for watching and have a great day.